I'm Dr. Melissa Lieber, and today I'll be speaking to you about hand and wrist injuries for the emergency provider. And here are my objectives. We're going to review relevant anatomy, but not too much anatomy that you don't focus. We are going to learn the uh, motor and sensory exam of the hand. We're going to use 24 high yield cases that I think are either super common or super important for you to know about, as well as discussing some dermatologic uh, problems of the hand as well. So why do we care so much about the hand? The hand um, counts for 20% of all the ED visits. That's a lot of visits with people coming in for either dermatologic problems or hand injuries. And they cost a lot of money because we use our hands for everything. We use them for work um, and productivity and writing and everything you can think of we use our hands for. So there is a high rate of disability when someone has a hand injury that is not getting better. Um, or that keeps them out of work, and a high rate of malpractice suits with, when it comes to hand injuries. So you want to make sure you don't miss anything and you treat the patient properly. So first to go over the sensory exam of the hand. Does anyone know where you would touch for autonomous or isolated ulnar nerve sensory exam? It would be here on the tip of the pinky. And say you got lazy and just wanted to touch one spot to make sure the sensation was intact. What about the median nerve? It would be here on the tip of the index finger. And for the radial nerve, it would be here on the dorsal side of the palm, on the dorsal side of the hand, excuse me. So motor exam for the median nerve. It's the British tea drinking nerve. So when you hold a teacup and pretend to drink it, that would be uh, the muscles that you use for your motor exam of the median nerve. If you want to memorize all of the specific intrinsics and lumbricals and thenar muscles that are used, that's okay too, but just to trigger yourself, think the pincer grasp for British tea drinking. And if you have a damage to the median nerve, what kind of hand or what is the hand called when you damage the median nerve? It's called the hand of benediction or also the ape hand. So when you want to test the median nerve motor exam, you want to test opponent's pollicis and the anterior interosseous nerve, which is an isolated motor nerve branch off the hand. And so which of these, when you look and you have an, a lesion of the anterior interosseous nerve, which of these two hands is abnormal?